Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Let's Play a Few Games with some more Supercard, of course. Uh, episode 12 here today. And then, um, obviously, we're going to be continuing to try and get Callisto built up. We're also going to see what else is going on in the world of Supercard. Last time we uh, had a few network errors, so maybe they're building up something. It doesn't look like it. So, first day of March, guys. As you can see, some brand new rewards are here. We've got Rare Bruno San Martino, as you can see. Pretty good. And uh, in 10 days, we get, well, we could get Super Rare Andre the Giant. Then, Ultra Rare Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. His stats looking quite good. Then, you could get Epic Booker T. And then, the one that hopefully we'll get, because we're doing daily episodes on, well, around daily episodes. Hopefully, we'll get the Legendary Ultimate Warrior, but we can only hope. And uh, what we're going to be doing is obviously some more exhibition. I might set up another King of the Ring in the near future just for something different. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be upgrading this man here, level 9 Kalisto. We're going to put level 15 Kalisto back in for the matches, of course. But level 9 Kalisto, we need to try and get him to level 15 ASAP so I can pro them up. Hopefully, we'll get something, some good things in this episode. Seeing what we're going to do here. Obviously, we're going to face uh, Rare Daniel Bryan, who's called himself B Smoking. And uh, what we're just going to do is just a quick drink of a Dura Pepper, Dr. Pepper. And, um, no, it tastes flat, but no, I'll drink it anyway, I like it. So we're going to use uh, Super Rare Brothers to start off with. And um, we are going to defeat Super Rare Triple H, who's only level 6, but Lesnar's level 10. You are going to defeat Brutal Lesnar when he's level 10, and you're only level 6, mate. So, Lesnar with the point, and then uh, Toughness, of course. Brie Bella, we're going to use against uh, another Brie Bella who is a level below us. Wait, how's my Brie Bella's toughness so good when hers is only a level below? This is not about 9 points below. I don't know, but I'm going to move the Dr. Pepper out of the way. Put it's starting to annoy me now. I forgot to skip the entrances, I apologise for that, guys. But we are going to defeat Brie with Brie. Yeah, you heard it here first. But um, there we go. And there's one little thing I want to check actually before we go on to the next match. It's about the daily rewards. We are going to lose to Rollins here. But uh, it's cool, it, gives, it still gives Kalisto experience. And that's something good. So here comes Kalisto, fully leveled up as well. Let's see what he can do. There we are. Face plants the mat. Lovely. Well, it's nice, nice what you want to see from your star guy here you're trying to build up. First plants than that, but we uh, win 2-1 obviously, getting 2 picks more for the squad, for the deck, and uh, let's skip this little animation thing, I'm in quite good mood tonight because my recording for GTA went well, it didn't go to shit like the other ones have been this week, Common Miz, and probably another Common. Okay guys, well, let's just, let's just take that a second, let's just, no, listen to me, let's just take that a second, um, so... This is good. No, this is good. The login bonus in about nine days is super rare Andre the Giant. And uh, as you saw just then, we got um, this man. I'm going to just swap a second. We got super rare Andre the Giant. So, what could be on the cards here, guys? Well, let me tell you. If we get two Andre the Giants, we can level them up and say, I don't know, pro them to make an even better card. And sometimes on the super rare cards, the stats can go up to 400 at, at the most. I mean, obviously it's 400 no more, but that's pretty good. I didn't mean to click on friends there. I also want to check something quickly on the login bonus thing. I want to check the arrows of each man. He's a left arrow, he's an up arrow, he's a down arrow, he's an up arrow, and he's a left arrow. So if we could get... Ted, uh, ultra rare Ted DiBiase, and we have a good tag team between Lesnar and DiBiase, or even Andre and DiBiase. Million Dollar Corporation. So, guys, many possibilities coming out of this now. We've got a uh, super rare Andre. I and mean, the first thing we're immediately going to do is swap him in for Uso. Just because of his power and toughness and stuff. So, he is going to be leveled up after Lesnar. We've got a few guys in the waiting queue. I think Brie may just stay she is, we're not going to pro her, because we're just not, because uh, there's no point in unless, like, I might get a newer diva in the future, a better diva, and she's on level 4 at the moment, so 
it's going to be Kalista, who's going to get a rare parole, and then Lesnar, who's just going to be Lesnar, but he's going to be a powerhouse nonetheless. And then we'll get Andre the Giant, who will hopefully eventually be a super rare pro, which is a brilliant start to the series. I know it'll be a few episodes till he actually is a super rare pro, i say about eight episodes, so around episode 20 sort of time, he'll be uh, made to a super rare pro, hopefully. Um, that's what I'm hoping to get him. I mean, obviously, it'll be about eight episodes till we do get him, and then we'll have to level him up, level him up as well, so... It might take a little longer than a few episodes. It'll probably be about 10, maybe a few more. We're going to just use Kalisto and Undertaker. Because that's more, speed's more of their realm. I say more of their realm, it's more Kalisto's realm. And we will get the win here over Rude 7 Stone Cold. Which is what I'd like to see. I don't, think we're, I don't know what we're going to do with the Undertaker because he's currently on level 0. But he's almost the same as Kalisto already, so... I don't know, maybe we just put tokens on him, possibly? I'm not too sure what we're doing with him yet. We're going to use Lesnar for this one. I could have used Andre and still won, actually, but we're going to use Lesnar anyway, and then use Andre for the last match. We've got Lesnar coming out against Luke Harper, who's also a super red card. Luke Harper not been levelled up at all. We've got Lesnar level 10, as you guys know, and... Uh, Yep, pick up the easy win against the New Day Yunj. I don't know how you pronounce it. We're going to lose it. Okay, we're going to have a clean sweep. That's, that's, that's actually cool with me. So this episode's gone well already. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this episode already. It's come, it's come good because we've got a super rare again, another one. So that brings our total super rares to four, I believe. Because we now have super rare Brock Lesnar, super rare Jimmy Uso. Super Rare Undertaker, and our Super Rare Andre, who will hopefully be a Super Rare Pro in the future. We'll clean sleep that game. I'm sorry guys I'm talking a lot, but I've got a lot to talk about this episode, and I'm glad. I'm glad I do. I was meant to be, I went to do a dual Zen mode today, but that can be done tomorrow. There's going to be a lot of videos out tomorrow, guys, just so you guys know. Um, if you guys didn't see it earlier on my channel either, I'm going to be starting a new series called... Rando World, and it's going to be on WWE 2K16. I don't think I explained it quite well enough, but I can explain it when I do the actual series. Uh, it'd be, but it'd be easy to explain when I've got the game on screen as opposed to when I have a laptop on screen, so maybe I could do that tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure. But uh, I don't know where Rando World's going to be starting. Possibly next week. Maybe this weekend, who knows. I want to try and focus on the current series I have now. I've got four at the moment. I've got Universe Mode, I've got Supercard, I've got GTA, and I've got the Jewel. And I've got two the Jewel series, but just count them into one. We're going to lose this tag team match here, for fuck's sake. But, um, yeah, we, we got destroyed. Just because of that uncommon camera and letting me down all the freaking time. But, um, I wish I had a better diva, better than her. I mean, she's good for the first ten matches. Or something, but once you get past that sort of stage, she becomes shit. So hopefully we can. Mm, oh, faggots! Faggots and mushrooms. Oh no, we still win. It's all good. It's all. It's all cool. Despite him having his like boosts on everything, we still pick up the win. Lovely, and uh, hopefully Kalisto will get the job done. Well then, that, that shut me up. This guy's got a pretty good deck. Um, maybe he should be in Super Rare Plus Plus, but that's just me. Maybe he's at the very end of Super Rare Plus. Uh, we are going to lose this match, which is kind of a shame, but you can't have everything going your way in an episode, I guess. God damn it, Trey Barry. I mean, like, all those guys at the start of this match had good records, but I picked this one because he had a rare as his picture. I always underestimate the, uh, the decks that these guys have, especially that Atruv. I mean, he's got enhancement boosts on him. I don't use enhancement boosts personally, as I find them way easier just to upgrade people with like Kalista. So what we're going to do quickly is we're just going to um, we are actually just going to quickly put some more on Kalista. I mean, we could get him to a level ten already. Might be a stretch though. Where is he? Luke Harper, Miz, 
Biggie, uh, all these guys, ladder, table. I don't want the common power ups, so uh, level 10 surroundings, possibly. It's gonna be pushing it. Oh, just level 10, there we go. Look at those stats, so all increased by 3 apart from toughness, which is increased by 4, which is good. Because, oh, I'd say no, he's lacking behind the charisma, I thought he'd be lacking behind the toughness, but his toughness is actually pretty up there. For a guy like Kalisto, I didn't think his toughness would actually be up there with uh, his speed, but he's quite resilient in the ring. So this is our fourth game of the episode. This episode might end up being quite long because of all the good news I've had. So we've got Brock Lesnar versus Brock Lesnar here. The Battle of the Brocks, the Battle of the Beasts. I mean, it's the same person really, but you know, you get me. Diva speed, we are going to use a speed card, probably still lose. Okay, no, that speed card came in vital. Never mind, fuck Nicky Bella and all of what she stands for. I, had, I, thought I'd buy, I thought I'd pull it out of the bag there, like, yeah, beating her, but... But no. There you go, Nicky Bella. Nicky Bella's four levels higher. Wow. Okay, so Lesnar, the big Lesnar card coming out. Against... Jimmy Uso, I think it was, yeah, Jimmy Uso, rare Jimmy Uso, who's only been levelled up a couple of levels. I say a couple, it's actually nine, but still, Brock Lesnar's going to dominate anyone who's a rare card. He preys on the rares, apart from maybe if it's a super rare, then that might be a bit of a problem. I've not changed my colour, I've not changed my guys, I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't change my Kalisto back, I mean, it wouldn't have made a difference, we still would have lost this tag match, I mean, we would going to lose another match, but... I didn't change my Kalisto back, I'm an idiot. <laughs> God damn it. It's cool, it's cool. We can, we can do that now, I've realised. Bollocks. We're not... We're not winning too many matches here. Oh wait, really? It's not too bad. Because we've got Super Rare, another Uncommon Lovely. So our win loss record is 97 to 17, so it's not too bad. But what we're going to do is just gonna switch Kalisto back now, because I am dumb and forgot to do that. We're going to move on to... This is for 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 dot for dot for dot for because his record looks favourable. He's also got an uncommon scene with his picture. Although he probably will have a lot better. He'll probably have one ultra rare that will fuck up all my team or something. But... Let's risk it for a chocolate biscuit. I actually really want a chocolate biscuit now, I don't even eat chocolate that much. Sorry guys, <laughs> again distracted easily again. Diva Tag Team, Power Charisma. Whatever it is, we're going to lose, so... Power Charisma, right? Yep, yeah, we're still going to lose. Super Rare Rosa and almost fully leveled up Paige. There's always going to be a uh, Rare Brie Bella and Uncommon Cameron hasn't even been leveled up because there's no point in leveling up Uncommons in my opinion. So we are going to lose, of course, because, like, my team is shit. This is a if I did that, I did that. It's going to probably give us another another loss here. We're going to use a Toughness and Charisma card. Actually, no, we're going to save it. But Andre and, um... Lesnar are going to go forward here. They're going to defeat uh, Uncommon Cena, who's been proed out to fuck. Not the perfect pro, but a pro nonetheless. And uh, Super Rare so has been levelled up quite a bit as well. Level 9, but oh no, level, level 0, oh my god, oh, I can't read. I see he's been leveled up quite a bit, he's 0, and I'll say he's leveled up a couple of things. He's level 9. But nonetheless, we did pick up the win with the beast and the giant. Charisma could be a problem here. Please give me the win. Okay, good, 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 good. I thought he was going to come up with something like ultra rare, brought or something, and say, ha, fuck you, cunt. But no, we will pick up the win here. We're going to get back on our winning ways. And we will probably get our hundredth win this episode, which is a little bit of a milestone, really. Kalisto picks up the victory. Hell yeah. Alright, so. One, two, three. Winner! Lovely, lovely job, lit. Pick up the win. And two picks, we're going to use our two picks down here. Common Edge and Common Booker P. Now, who do we go for here? Some of these opponents look favourable. Yazino9 looks the best. 
Yeah, let's play the SN09. Because I don't think we're going to get much lucky again than that. 1 8, lost 2, still quite a good record. But I feel like I can win. So let's give it a go. We'll probably end up losing now after talking big, but still. You can tell whether they're like a bot or not. If like, they're a robot, then they'll have ultra rares and super rares and whatever. And they only have a few games played. Like this guy, he might have a really good card. Like, no, that's that's not. That's no. Like, come on. Come on. You can't be in super rare plus with an epic rock. Like, I. I mean, he's only level 2 granted, but still, Epic Rock. Why is he even in the Super Rare tier? At all. Well, on Super Rare, whatever. Oh, I fucking lost, because of that Epic Bastard. Oh my god, I should not pick this guy. I've not had good luck on my side this episode, have I really, let's be honest. Ooh, Jesus Christ, but should he really be in super rare with an epic rock? I think he's probably gonna hack his way or something into this. <sighs> Let's give Andre some experience. Still kind of annoyed that he's got an epic card that just destroys everything. I say ultra rare or super rare. I rule out epic and you have a fucking epic. Alright. So we do get one point with Andre, giving him a bit more experience in the power area, but we are going to lose, because there's someone having an epic card, Yazino 9. He's got his rare Batista's his picture, and you think, oh, probably not much more than that. No, pulls out an epic fucking rock, no, cool. Cool, that's what, yeah, that's what I like to do every day, pull out just out of an epic rock out of nowhere and destroy people with it. So we're going to play against Jiva Pridipa, who's got a uh, common... Police, though, I want to say. It might be common to Kara, but... I don't... I can't tell. I think it is common police, though, actually, with his old mask. Um, I don't actually know what to do with this game. Diva Tough to Nurse, we're going to lose, because it's Bree. We actually win. Okay, but it's only because it's common to tire. We still win. <laughs> Bree Bella will defeat Natalia for the first point here, which is good. I don't know what game this is, I don't know if it's 6th or 7th, I think it's the 6th, but I'm not too sure. We'll check after, of course. Tag Team, Toughness and Charisma. Uh, we're just going to completely beast out Andre and Brock. Fuck. Uh, um. N no. Oh, we fucking lose the rated R lunatic stars. That's what I'm calling them. It's a sick name. I should have put out Kalista and Taker and I could rather Brock in the last round. Fucking nah. Andre Giant doesn't go from the top rope. That's what we need to learn here, really. Quite honest. So much charisma. I really should have. Everyone seems to have better decks than me, and it's getting kind of annoying. I don't know if it's just our bad decks or if it's just my shitty decision making because if we kept Brock Lesnar then we would have won this game that kind of pisses me off a little bit but regrets uh, fucking wait no this is my 7th game I'm pretty yeah it is my 7th game because I think I've lost 4 times and won 3 so it's, a... it's not gone well fuck sake I said we got a 100th win I think I probably I don't know jinxed it there but I said we got a 100th win this episode we might not even do that. I'm not playing against a common Cully Stock card again. They can fuck that off. Play against Juice. What a cool name. Juice. And then uh, he's got Hurricane as his picture, so I'll probably throw it out to motherfucking Uranus and back. <laughs> Get it, Uranus? Because fun. No. Aw. Oh, okay, so. Stipulation Diva Charisma losing already. Why has he only got a common Alicia Fox there? Nah, please don't have another epic card. So if this guy has an epic card, I might just commit. I might just commit. Uh, please be something I can win a point on. Tag Team Speed. Alright. Fuck it, let's throw him out. Why have these guys got epics? 
Like, that's ridiculous. Why do these guys have epics and a super rare tier? This is stupid. I mean, ultra rare, yeah, I'm just about stunned. But, if I had an epic, I'd be up in fucking ultra rare plus plus or something. I don't, I don't understand why I'm coming up against epics. I'm so glad I picked the weaker team this time, so I could maybe fuck the shit up with Lesnar and Andre. Oh, thank God. <laughs> He's got an uncommon card. I mean, fully leveled up, but it doesn't make a goddamn difference against these, against these two beasts. We actually do win, so that's good. And, uh... Lesnar and Andre. Andre with a top rope move. You see, Andre, you shouldn't be going top rope with your 500 pound frame or whatever the WWF build you have, I don't know. But, um, yep, three count for us. We actually win a match. It's far, far. Christ the Lord, this episode hasn't gone too well. I mean, we got the Andre at the start, but it's kind of gone downhill from then. Nonetheless, we get two picks, and we're going to pick the top. I mean, sorry, the bottom two. I'm retarded. Connor and Roman Reigns. Sick. 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 They just rub it in because it was like a, whatever it was, Roman Reigns, a trick. Oh god, I've got hiccups. Uh, super, not super, uh, epic Roman Reigns. Next, we're gonna get a rare support card, which is gonna be freaking sick. Hopefully, it's like a chair that does 15 power or a table that does 60 damage or I don't know. Hopefully we get a good support card. If it's a shit one like another taunt, then I'm just going to feed it straight to police, though. No questions asked. I just wanted to see how close I was to the next uh, reward. I'm about seven games off. So, we're going to play against Ferg... What's his name? Ferg... Ferg... Booker. And he's got... Rare uh, Jimmy Uso as his picture. Obviously he's going to have Naomi, because now he's married to Jimmy Uso. I think it's Jimmy Uso she's married to. Probably be bad if he was married to Jey Uso and I don't, I didn't, I don't know. Probably could be married to Jey Uso for all I know. I think she's married to Jimmy though. And it will be a win for the Brie of the Bella. The wife of former professional wrestler Daniel Bryan. And um, toughness, we're just going to beast the fuck out of Brock Lesnar. Oh Christ. I'm glad I used that. Oh my God. Nah, nah, that's just ridiculous. That, I'm gonna fucking cry in a minute. This, the bullshit I'm getting on this game is unreal. First of all, level 7 Jack Swagger would never beat level 10 Brock Lesnar. Second of all... Fuck off. Just fuck off. Why has he got 33 on his ability, more importantly? Why has he got 33 when I haven't? Why are my guys not even using their abilities, more importantly? Speed and Charisma, I lose, no, I'm actually going to quit, I'm actually going to quit this series, I lose by one measly little cunting point. It's another loss, I'm, guys, I'm not the best at decision making. I mean, I want to beat Jack Swagger with anyone on my deck, so, yeah, I think I would have just lost this anyway, unless I've had that Toughness and Charisma card that I used in the last match. <sighs> This episode's not been a good one. Pick that one and we'll get some shit. Another common Roman Reigns. Do you know what we're going to do for the banter? Just for a little bit of fun. We're just, just going to... Just a little bit of fun. Hopefully I won't fuck this up and accidentally pro, pro something, something else. And just, just pro Roman Reigns, you know. Holy shit, that card looks lethal. Nah, this is four on Easter. Um, but The Rock is destroying that team event thing. We've got one more match to do this episode, and I don't fancy playing against any of those, so let's just refresh them. Um, none of these guys actually look more uh, easy to play. I want an easy match, so I've been losing. I'm not playing against Jeremy, I'm not playing against any of those. Come on, give me someone good. Oh, don't give me a win on that work. Okay. I kind of want to play against Pato Nunes, B84, with his uh, wins of 4 and losses of 8. But he's going to have like, some epic shit that will just completely kill me, won't it? Just, just watch. Just watch. Let's see what this guy has to screw me over in this match. Solo match speed. Let's use Kalista. 
smart move actually. Smart move using Kalista. I could have saved that speed boost, but it's cool. We'll defeat Daniel Bryan here with Kalista. So we've got we've still got our best card on deck right there. And uh let's do uh Brock and Andre. We are gonna win this match, thank bloody god. I bet he's got like an epic diva or something. And he won't even get to use it because of like I don't know. I didn't even realise they were incompatible. I thought they both had the yellow arrow yellow down arrows. But it'll probably be an epic diva that this guy can't use because uh, it won't be a diva's match. Or maybe he's got an epic card he's gonna use now. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. I say epic, it's an ultra rare card. What I meant by an epic card is that a really good card. Not an epic card, as in like natural epic cards. But we are gonna lose to the flying goat. But we do win 2 1, so it's two more picks for us to try and feed Kalisto with. Let's try and get him leveled up ASAP because I really want him leveled up now. I hate this being like my mission to just get Kalisto up. Because after that, I'm gonna have to put him up to level 15 on his pro card as well. I mean, obviously, I'll do that in my own time, but. Yeah, you know, it's just it's just more and more effort. We've got two picks here for the final after the final game. We've got uncommon speed, uncommon Tyson Kid. Well, let's upgrade that other Kalisto a little bit more. As you guys can see, we've got 100 wins and 20 losses, which means we're five times as good as we're shit. If that makes sense. I was almost about to put him on the rock. I might feed a couple of rares to Kalisto as well. Just to get him up a little bit quicker. He's got two tokens on him now. We can maybe put some more tokens on that clay store. Although I don't know if that'll ruin the proing of him or what. We've got Diego and Fernando there. Could have a lo nice little Lost Matt Doris team. Fuck off. Um, but <laughs> nonetheless, is that going to level him up? If not, there are a couple of enhancements that can be put in. He is going to get to level 11 off these cards alone. But we've got a few more enhancements that I'd like to put on him as well, so let's do it quickly. Charisma, Charisma, Speed, Speed, I mean Charisma, Toughness, Speed, Toughness, whatever. Whatever they said, I don't care. We'll get him into level 11 territory, so we're getting close now. Uh, I said we were getting close last episode, and we were up to level 6 last episode. So by my reckoning, it'll only take two more episodes to get this Khalees thought up to where we need him to be. And then we can start going with other guys, but um... That was going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. And uh, there's a possibility of us getting our first Super Rare Pro thanks to this man being available. So in nine days, we could be making our Super Rare Pro dream come true. And uh, hopefully by the end of March, we'll have that card as well, which we'll absolutely destroy. But anyway, guys, it's been Let's Play a few games with episode 12 of WB Card. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for whatever I do. Bye, guys.